hello all my bells welcome and welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family y'all come on step into the kitchen so i can show y'all how we're gonna make this delicious veg veggie chili now this is veggies there's, there's no meat in here nothing in here is meat and it looks nice and hearty it's starting to get cold you guys so right now is chili season get you some chili make you some soups all type of stuff here you go we're gonna make this so y'all come on step into the kitchen so i can show y'all how we're gonna make this deliciousness don't it look good y'all it looks good huh okay you guys so these are the ingredients that you will need or we gonna use today a red yellow and i know that wasn't red but red yellow and green bell pepper a onion i told you guys we're making veggie chili it's gonna be vegetarian style we got some uh chili mix the little packet and then we also have this. I've never used this, but I'm gonna try it because I'm not using meat, so I'm gonna try that because I normally use the brick of chili, but I'm gonna try that because it has no meat in it. And we got some pinto beans, some black beans, and some chili beans, so some dark red kidney beans. And I have taken those and put them in water. Well, not water, I rinsed them off. I took them out of the can and rinsed them off. So these cans are empty. You guys, and then the seasonings I will use, I will show you guys what seasonings I'm going to use once I get started with my uh, stuff in the pan. Okay, y'all. So, okay, you guys. So I have my onion here. I have one small onion and I'm going to use the whole entire onion. So you guys, we're going to take this onion and just cut it. Cut. So this is gonna give you lots of flavor. I'm also gonna use some garlic for some added flavor. So because you're making a veggie chili, you won't have some flavor in it. I'm gonna just rough chop it. I'm not gonna like cut them super duper small because like I said, it's going to cook down. If you want to make this in your crock pot, you could. If you wanted to use um, beans that you, you cooked and you did them in your slow cooker or, or your crock pot, you can do that as well. But I I'm, I do stuff, I try to do show y'all things as easy. Not something you gotta sit in the kitchen for all day. So I'm gonna, oh, my eyes are burning y'all. I'm gonna add these onions to my pot, but I'm gonna add a little, um, of my garlic olive oil to it. Okay, guys, so I have my onions in here. Y'all can see those, right? Yeah, y'all can see. I have my onions in here that I'm I'm letting sweat down. They browned up a little bit, but that's fine. That's just giving more flavor. More flavor. So I'm going to add my bell peppers. Actually, I'm going to add some garlic minced garlic a little bit then I'm gonna add my uh, bell peppers all the colors of the rainbow I'm gonna add the bell peppers all of them so I cut them kind of big kind of chunky because this is a veggie chili y'all vegetable chili so I'm gonna show you guys the seasonings that I am going to be using for my um, veggie chili I'm gonna be using some seasoning salt and some garlic powder so I'm gonna use some crushed bread chili flakes let's give it a little kick some black pepper also some chili powder chili powder does not give your food um, heat I don't know why people think that because it doesn't so you can use as much as little as you want it's, chili powder is really just for the color but it doesn't like add like extra heat in it. so you guys I'm gonna let these cook down and then I'll come back and add my beans my tomatoes and then y'all we gonna come back when it's done done so I'm gonna let the once I put everything in here, I'm gonna let this simmer for about an hour on low covered. So 
so that all of those vegetables and everything in there can get translucent and uh okay you guys i have got my peppers onions garlic and the seasoning in here i'm gonna add my one can of diced tomatoes Some of this uh, seasoning pack, I'm not gonna add it all. It comes with some type of masa, but I'm not gonna use that uh, because that's a carb. So I won't be using that, but I wouldn't have been using it anyway. So I'm gonna use this. I don't think I need to use that other chili package of stuff, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm probably gonna use like half of this package because I don't know what the seasoning level is on in here. I've never, like I said, I've never used this, so I can't say, oh, it has this much salt or it has that much salt because I've never used it. But you're cooking vegetables, so you want your food to have some flavor. I'm gonna add some water to this. If I had some chicken broth, I would use that. I thought I did, but I don't. And I didn't get any at the store. So I'm gonna just use water. I'm just gonna add a can of uh, water to it. And it will thicken up as it cooks. I'm gonna add my beans as well. So I'm gonna get my beans and bring them and dump them in there as well. So y'all know I said I had black pinto and kidney beans. So we're gonna mix all that up together. If I need to add some more water, I probably do. I think I do. So I'll add some more water. I'm gonna taste this, cause you can taste it because there's no meat in here. Nothing in here is raw. Everything is cooked. I mean, well, it's raw vegetables, but you can eat raw vegetables. So I'm gonna try it to see if it's too salty or if it's not salty enough. That's about you want the water to cover or if you have chicken broth use chicken broth because it will give it lots more flavor than water but I just want to see if I need more seasoning and I do I'm gonna just use this whole package I may use the other one too because it doesn't really have much flavor to me But I wait until it uh, everything comes together. But y'all see that? Y'all, this is veggie chili. <laughs> make y'all some. You can make you some cornbread with it. You can make you some rice with it. You can make you some nachos with it. Anything you wanna do with it, you can. But I won't be making no cornbread and I also won't be making the rice. So y'all, I'm gonna bring this back up to a boil and then I'm gonna let it simmer on low for about an hour. So I will see you guys in about an hour. Once this is ready, I'll let you guys see the finished product. Okay, you guys, it has been an hour and this is my chili, my veggie chili, nice and done. Y'all see how good that look? Don't look good. I'm gonna bowl it up, plate it up, whatever you wanna call it. You can eat this with some crackers. Like I said, you can make you some rice. You can make you some cornbread. Put it over a potato. Make you some nachos. London actually made her some nachos, you guys. She's eating them as we speak. So this is a finished product. Can y'all see that? Yeah, this is a finished product of my um, veggie chili. Okay, you guys, so that is the finished product. This is the finished product of my veggie chili, you guys. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I, yes me, post a video.